A vigil is set to begin soon for a New Yorker who was a diligent businesswoman and a dedicated volunteer. 40 year old Michelle Go was killed Saturday by a subway train after being pushed onto the tracks at the Times Square station. Her death has led to renewed calls for improved safety measures in the subways. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas live in Times Square with more. Andrea? Well, Dana, the vigil hasn't started yet, but I want you to take a look. Hundreds of people are already here. What's most amazing about this is that most of them don't know Michelle Go personally, but the sentiment is that Michelle could have been any of them. As you said, Michelle was a businesswoman who spent the last decade helping at-risk New Yorkers. Saturday, she was pushed in the path of an oncoming train at the Times Square station. 61-year-old Marshall Simon was arrested in connection to her death. The incident has raised concerns about crime on the subway, which Mayor Eric Adams today conceded that he too is concerned about his own safety. We're going to drive down crime and we're going to make sure New Yorkers feel safe in our subway system and they don't feel that way now. I don't feel that way when I take the train every day. Just three weeks ago, Michelle Go was in the Maldives celebrating her 40th birthday and ringing in the new year. Her family described her as being beautiful, kind, and intelligent. And that's what they want you to remember tonight and not just focus on the tragic way in which she died. Back out here live, local leaders are expected to speak here at this vigil tonight, including Mayor Eric Adams. There's a similar vigil also being held tonight in San Francisco, where she also has ties. It just shows you that her life and death really is being felt diff deeply all across this country. Reporting live in Times Square, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Andrea.